Nikta Chief Executive Officer Charles Punaha spoke to MTV News this week on the issue of telecommunication licensing. His comments on the back of media queries regarding the lack of activity by a particular company who had been granted licenses by Nikta in March 2014. The company in question, Awal Telecommunications Corporation Limited. The licenses were presented to them in 2014 by the then Minister for Communication, Jimmy Miring Toro. Our internal committee having been satisfied that our met all the requirements, then made the recommendation to our board. Our board then issued the license uh, on the 17th of March uh, 2014. This license is uh, for uh, 10 years and it will expire on the 13th of March 2024. However, four years on, no activity had been conducted by AWAL in the country. According to Mr. Punaha, this was a concern for NICTA. In the case of AWAL, unfortunately, after we issued the license, uh, they, have, uh, they have disappeared. We cannot even uh, contact the local contact person they pro provided the in the name of uh, Sakumai. Uh, our guys have gone through the rested office that they have uh, provided. Uh, unfortunately, that is, uh, I think as uh, you have found out, is a residence. And in light of increasing number of similar instances, Mr. Punaha has made it known that an audit will be carried out into telecommunication licensing in the country with NICTA to check on every license issued and penalize license holders who have not conducted any activity as per each granted license. Under the public register. We have issued a lot of licenses, and unfortunately, some of them are not operational, uh, which includes our. So, our intention uh, this year is to do an audit uh, on all those uh, companies that are not in operation, and then we need to go through a due process where we notify them uh, uh, of our intentions that uh, they need to. Uh, justify to us why the, the license should not be cancelled. Uh, that process we are going to do this year. We will request them to show cause why their license should not be cancelled. And of course, uh, NICTA does not want to be seen as just issuing paper licenses. Uh, we want people who are genuine, who are committed, and have the financial resources to come in, uh, to come in and get licenses to provide uh, effective uh, competition in the market. Issuing of those licenses for those people to organize themselves and come back to the finance, and at that point, you know, if they prove to us that they are good, you know, we can give them some spectrum rights. So if our comes back and convinces us that they are genuine, they have the, the money that is needed to, to roll out such networks, then of course we can get them. Despite this, NICTA remains optimistic of more activity within the telecommunications space in the country, with Mr. Punaha also revealing the possibility of NICTA conducting a roadshow to run concurrently with APEC to showcase the potential opportunities in the country. Uh, we would, of course, in the due course when we are looking at, uh, 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 in the process of uh, doing the audit, it, we would also like to contact uh, overseas, uh, overseas countries, our counterparts in overseas countries where in operation, just to find out uh, uh, what they are doing in those countries.